Hi everyone, welcome to the Project Adventure Ranger channel and today uh, this quick video is about a modification I've made to my uh, Hafco uh, 46B milling machine installing a stepper motor and uh, controls to the, uh, the Z-axis or to, to raise and lower the head of the machine. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank uh, fellow YouTuber Levi Verlan uh, for his original video of a stepper motor and milling machine Z-axis control. So uh, his video had um, this concept plus the uh, Arduino coding, etc. for the project. Okay, just a recap. So this is an uh, Arduino-based project that utilizes a stepper motor driver and stepper motor and will give you uh, a raise and lower function and also incorporating with um, the limit switches for both up and down and also variable speed as well. I'd just like to say from the, from the outset I'm no electronics expert um, but I did manage to bumble my way through and get this to work so most importantly here is the the actual wiring diagram that I've used. Uh, this was drawn for me by uh, stepperonline.com uh, it's just a rough hand note, it's not animated, apologies for that. However, uh, you can follow this to uh, wire up your stepper motor driver and, and get the project to work. Uh, please note, the major components I've used for this project is a NEMA 34 uh, 12 newton meter stepper motor, a DM860i 6 amp stepper driver, and also a 350 watt 48 volt power supply. So, big question is, what's in the box? This box does vary from the original stepper motor wiring diagram because I've had to add other systems to it but it's for some of you it's that stepper motor wiring um, that you're interested in so anyway um, originally I did have a, a DM556 uh, driver in, in this circuit as per the wiring diagram however um, we'll talk about later I had to change it out for that DM860 um, uh, driver so here's inside uh, the completed box. So starting at the bottom, uh, the input, we have a 240 volt coming in. Uh, that goes to the um, transformer, but also runs through an emergency stop switch there for the circuit. Um, and coming off the, the 48 volt transformer, I have a, another transformer to step down to five volts there, which supplies the Arduino with that um, power supply. Uh, we have the DM860 um, stepper driver and then at the top we have the Arduino unit and still at the top there is the um, output for the stepper motor. It's just a, a simple um, three pin plug and underneath all of that we have the 48 volt power supply and then running down the right hand side we have our um, control cables uh, and also our upper and lower limit switch cables. So here's the uh, the box in action. I turn it on with the uh, unlocking the emergency stop. It powers everything up. I, I do find a little bit of creep in the stepper motor. Uh, it could be um, electrical interference with the cabling there. So I just turn it off and on um, as I need it because I'm not using it the whole time. Well, that's the electrical side of the project. On the mechanical side, I did have to go to that bigger stepper motor uh, driver unit because uh, I did find that it was struggling to uh, to drive the unit and then after going to the the bigger driver with the 6 amp capacity um, it was still struggling so I then made the decision to change out the original um, lead screw that came with the machine for the z-axis and then swapped it over to a, um, a ball screw that was a 25 10 ball screw that I had to get um, made up for that unit um, and that seemed to fix a fix the problem it certainly runs a lot better now up and down um, apart from the the creeping issue that I have which I think could just be due with my cabling um, it, it's yeah quite a good um, simple operation so other components you have to make up is your uh, adapter to go from your uh, motor to your ball screw so I've just made up um, on the lathe you can see there a, a nice simple adapter it's all quite neat and um, it does the job and then um, depending on whether you can order your um, ball screw and um, a suitable adapter for the nut etc I had to make one of those up as well okay that's it for today hopefully uh, I'll provide enough information to help you with your project uh, z-axis stepper motor control circuit and motor um, I know it's not really truck related today uh, but anyway no doubt I'll use this um, 
now to help me uh, build some bits and pieces for the, the project Adventure Ranger. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe or whatever. I don't really care. All right, till next time, ciao.